How's it going, geez? I'm Arshio and I'm coming again. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, another vulnerability uh, which it exists in a uh, WordPress CMS. And this vulnerability exists in the plugin with the name of WPS Hide Login or WPS Hide Login. And you can uh, exploit this vulnerability, and this vul you can exploit with this vulnerability, and you can abuse from this vulnerability to get the secret login page of your target webs target WordPress website and and if you wanna exploit it first you, you have to make sure your target website has a uh, your tar target website is a WordPress and after that you have to make sure your target website has a WPS dash hide dash login plugin and the version of that is lower than 1.9.1 why I say that because this vulnerability just got patched uh, in the version of 1.9.1 uh, fixed in version 1.1 okay an explanation is like plugin has a bug which allows to get the secret login page by setting a random referrer how we can exploit it the only thing which we can do is that we have to say we have to use a curl and then send a, like a request and then uh, set the random referrer for example dash dash referrer something and then send a request to our target website s slash wp dash admin s slash options dot php and after that just going to show us the response and we have to look for the location and the location we can find the secret login page let's just first and uh, this is a um, cve 2021-24-917 and this vulnerability just found uh, in, in this plugin in the date of 2021 so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just copy and paste the CV of that in the Google and here you go you can see everything every detail current description the WPS high login WordPress plugin before blah 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 has a bug which allows to get a secret login page by setting a random refer string and making a request to the WP admin slash options.php as an unauthenticated user that's it so what I'm gonna do I wanna exploit this vulnerability in a real website and what is the real website that real website is my school website and the name of that is so I'm gonna say real target but before everything I have to say it's uh, I just uh, record this video for educational purpose only and I want you guys I want you guys to just learn from this video and don't abuse from the knowledge and the information from this video just learn and try to be good so our target website real uh, real target website or whatever is this website HLDSP HLDSP is my school website okay and I know my, my school website has this vulnerability so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna exploit it before everything I'm gonna show you how we can figure it out and how we can find out our target website our WordPress target website uh, has this plugin or not there are some different ways which we can do for example if I'm gonna go to the target website and if I'm gonna like go to the mm, get the view page source I can look for the Mm, for the plugins by WP dash content content dash plugins what the fuck is going on? Oh okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, no, it's okay. I think so. Okay. So we can just uh, look let me see if can record it okay. Yeah. We can just look and f look for the plugins which is exist in this target website by going to the view page source and then search for the lp dash content uh, slash plugins and then we can f we can find out what kind of plugins use in this in this website like for example the lp dash content slash plugins feed for youtube this is a plugin the lp dash content slash plugins instagram dash feed 
sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Someone just came to me. Okay, so if you want to find out what kind of plugins your target website has, your target WordPress website has, you have to, one of the ways, just going to the view page source and then looking for the WP content slash plugins and you can find out these plugins are exist. For example, feed for YouTube, Instagram dash feed, and everything. The event calendar. But if I'm gonna search exactly this plugin, WPS dash height dash login, I can't find it. But I know, I know this plugin exists. I know this plugin exists, but I can't find it. Why? Because you can't find all of the plugins of your target website from the view page source. You can't. But the, another another way which you can do is like uh, you can brute force or use a lot of plugins like that. For example, hlsp.own.ca. So the another sorry, the another thing which you, you guys you can do to find the uh, your your the plugin of your target website, your target WordPress website, is to go to your target website and slash dlp dash content slash plugins and then after plugins slash just write your plug plugin which you wanna make sure your plugin is exists or not. And I know the WPS dash height dash login plugin exists in my target website, but I couldn't find it in a view page source. But that doesn't mean this plugin is not exist. Sometimes you can find a lot of plugins. You can just uh, information gathering and just uh, use it for example view page source to find what kind of plugin exists in your target website. But this is not all. This is not all. You know you can't find all of the plugins from here. So, you can just go to the, you can, your target website, s slash dlp dash content, s slash plugins, and then write your plugin name. And if I'm going to write my plugin name, my plugin name is dlp s dash high dash login. But before that, I want to show you, if I'm going to write, for example, test, dlp dash content, s slash plugin, s slash test, it's just going to show me uh, 404. What does that mean? That means this page is not exist. There is no plugin with the name of test. But if I'm gonna change test to the LPS dash height dash login, I know this plugin exists and send a request, I will see 403 error. And what does that mean? That means this page, and we will get it forbidden. That means this page exists in our target website, but we can't access to it. Right? So this page exists, but we can't access to it. Or sometimes it's just going to show you nothing, nothing, empty, nothing. Not 404, not 403, nothing. That means that pages exist, but you can't see anything. So, right now we just understood uh, there is a vulnerability with the North WP, WPS uh, slash hide slash login in a target website because we just sent a request to this pass, to this URL, uh, our target website, slash WP dash content, slash plugins, slash the, the plugin which we want to make sure is it exists or not. So, if I'm going to write it, some something like for example test and i know this plugin does not exist it's just going to show me 404 but if i'm if i'm gonna write for example um the events slash the slash events slash calendar and i know this plugin exists because i just gather information from the view page store and I've, i found out this plugin exists by this url so if i'm gonna write it in the url it just go. It just need to. Uh, it just need to show me 403. That means you can't access to this plugin, but it exists. I wanna show you the s slash events s slash calendar. So I'm gonna change this to the s slash. Sorry, the s slash events events or event like what was that events s slash calendar. And it just showed me 404, so maybe I just write something wrong. Definitely, I mean, Calend calendar. Okay, I just write calendar like with E, but it's with A. It's just going to show me 403. That means this this plugin exists in your target website, but you don't you can't access to it, right? So we find out WPS dash height dash login. Uh, plugin exists because when we send a request 
to this URL, it's just going to show me 403, but we don't know the version. Okay, sometimes uh, hackers need to do pen testing or hacking like black box. That means you can't gather any information. You can't get the version, but you have to test. You know, you don't know what's the version. It's okay. Just send a request. Send a request to this to your target website. If you want to explode, for example, this CVE, send a request to your to, to your target website. If you get the location and you get the secret login page, that means this this target website has the uh, this target website has the this vulnerability in the WPS dash hide login but if you couldn't get the response in the location if you couldn't get the login secret login page that mean there is no vulnerability uh, about the WPS dash hide dash login about this CVE that mean the version of this plugin is higher than this or equal with this because we know this this vulnerability just get patched in this version okay so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just send a request like exploit and then I'm gonna see what will happen. Before I see, I wanna, see, I wanna show you if I'm gonna write dlp, dlp dash admin in a regular way. Most of the WordPress website, uh, their admin panel exists in this URL, dlp dash admin, right? But it's just going to show me nothing. That means this page did not exist, right? 404. That means they use a certain plugin to hide their login page to hide their secret login page but if we understand this target website has this cve and has this vulnerability we can exploit it by this method let's do it so right now we don't know what's the login page right you can test for sql injection or like brute forcing and everything you can't because you don't know you don't know where is the admin panel where is the uh, where you can you know find the admin panel to log in to crack to brute force to sql injection to whatever but i know i know this vulnerability exists so i'm gonna find out what is the exact uh login page so i'm gonna open up my like cmd or powershell is no different i'm gonna open up my powershell powershell i'm gonna go to Okay, I'm gonna send a, uh, send a request care that's a referrer or something like that. I'm gonna copy it and paste it here, but I'm gonna change example.com to hwdsp.com. hwdsp dlp that's admin slash option.php. And if I'm gonna press enter, it's just going to show me nothing. I'm just going to show me positional parameter can I find blah 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 why 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 I have no idea why let, let me see what's the problem um, I'm just thinking because I really don't know what's the problem let's do it again in the CMD Mm. Copy. Paste here. Okay, I'm gonna change it to like. Oh, don't show me. Don't show me. Don't show me. I'm gonna change um, example.com to hrdsp.com and then copy and then paste it in the CMD. That's it. So I just send the request. Uh, to this target website a slash dlp dash admin a slash option dot php with the random referrer and I get this response server nginx date content type content length connection cache control blah 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 location blah 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 so the only thing which we want is the location and if I'm gonna see the location I can see something Location is equal with the hldsp.on.ca slash hldsp login slash redirect to the LP dash admin What if hldsp login? So we get the secret login page right now We can see it in the response Location 
hlsp.on.ca hlsp.login redirect to the alpidash admin so right now we know what's the login page if i'm gonna copy it and paste it here i'm gonna get the login page easy peasy lemon squeezy isn't it so that was so easy right so we just exploit this vulnerability cve 2021-24917 Easy peasy and squeezy. I'm Security Hunter. I'm Harshadev. See you later. Goodbye.